It is April 10th, 2019. We are the Advisory Committee on Sustainability. It's uh, 1230 in room 206. We'll call the meeting to order a few minutes late at 1236 p.m. Uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the past minutes, which we did not get. Uh, so we might have to punt on did that I, until next. They didn't go out the day of the last meeting? Oh, I didn't or did you get them? Did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I sent them out uh, day of. I usually catch that in my sweep when I do the agenda. Uh, can I take a look at them? Sure. Did you have any comments? No, they look good to me. I mean, yeah. Well, if they look good to yeah. Carol, then they've I, got I, to be good. No, I, <laughs> they look, you're right. They look good. You didn't read them thoroughly. You read your part, yeah. Food scraps, perfect. Did I, did I change the heading and name us properly because Donna told me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, do I get a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion uh, to approve the minutes. Second. second. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Minutes Aye. are approved. Okay. Recycling. Um, uh, Carolyn, do you want to take over 2A? Uh, sure. Um, so food scrap recycling. So. Um, since October, we have collected a total of almost 14, we've diverted a total of almost 14 tons of food scraps from the waste stream. Mm -hmm. um, How much? We're actually 13.81 is, is our You knew she had the real number. Yeah. <laughs> Since October, you said? Yes. And remember last time I mentioned that there was one figure that seemed not right because it was over a ton? Sorry, I've got one microphone that's not working. So I'm going to try to do you with one. Okay. Which one is not working? Which one? Um, I'm sure. This one's working? I'm pretty sure that. Um, oh, this is not Oh, well, I'm going to Oh, there you go. That's all right. So, do you remember um, last month I mentioned that there was one figure that didn't seem yeah, right? It seemed it, off, yeah. It was like a ton and a half and it just didn't seem right. So, I talked to Cindy about it and she investigated. And as it turns out, one of the um, curbside wheels wasn't on the scale. Oh. So, for some reason it didn't weigh properly. If it was going in and the wheel wasn't on the scale, but coming out, the wheel was on the scale, we would have had a lot more weight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so what, what she did is she took the prior, like, four months. And just averaged them. And averaged them, so <laughs> instead of being one and a half. So you think the 14 tons is an accurate 14 tons, a fairly accurate. The, oh, the, the 14 tons is, um, yeah. whatever I said, it was 13.81 tons. Yeah. That is accurate, yeah. So we've diverted that much. Um, as far as kits go, we have received our second batch of the okay. countertop bins. We're still waiting for the larger ones. They should be in transit this week, actually. Um, we're getting 200. Um, they actually had, they, we had ordered 210. They're gonna give us the same price for 200. They just asked if we could take a few less because there's been like such a huge demand. Oh, so um, yeah, and they come from the UK, so it's not like they can just get them here really fast. Yeah, so we should be getting those. So I think, you know, as soon as we get our new set of kits, I mean, we still have some, but we don't have enough to like do volume selling yeah. at the recycling center. But I think as soon as we get them, we now that the weather's getting nice, we should um, start doing that again. Um, you know, you know, targeting different days. And then I also talked to Cindy about, um, you know, different times when one, you know, maybe if anyone else is interested in, in doing this, just setting it for even an hour at a time in the hallway yeah. when people are out the door getting their dump stickers. Yep. Um, you know, we can sell some that way. So Great. I think we're, we're okay. Okay, um, good. Yeah. Um, uh, we're, are, are we going to do the compost giveaway? Yes. Um, so I got figures from both New Milford Farms and 
quantum because I yep. hadn't thought of quantum. Quantum's a little bit less, oh. so we can talk about um, you know which one. I we had discussed not doing it um, around the weekend of Earth Day just because it coincides with spring break. Yeah, so Easter. we'll have to pick a weekend when we want to do it. I was thinking either the last Saturday in April or the first Saturday in May. Okay. And then that way everyone will be back in town, so people won't feel left out. Let's do it. Okay. And I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to be doing this? I guess we're going to call it, instead of an Earth Day giveaway, we'll call it a spring giveaway, spring compost giveaway. Uh, yeah, uh, garden compost giveaway. I don't know. Okay, so that like. sounds good. And this will be done where? Uh, at the recycling center. In the vicinity of the food scraps. Yes. And people will be able to take a bucket of it home. And it's not limited to people who bring food scraps. We're encouraging anyone to take it because sometimes you pick up new participants that way. We gave uh, the Greenwich Conservation Commission a tour of our food scrap recycling. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and they actually had a big program the other night um, sponsored by one of their garden committees. Um, in the auditorium at the uh, uh, Greenwich Library, it was really full, and um, they had um, they had all kinds of speakers, and it looks like they are you know pushing full steam ahead with trying to get a program set up. There were a lot of people they were interested in in that setting up a program. So okay, and then the last thing is we have because of our. Um, the grant that we received from the Recycle CT Foundation, we have to um, submit a report by May 1st, and I have been working on that. We're, so. we're here to help proofread it when it's ready. Okay, <laughs> good. You will be asked to help proofread it. Um, I'm not sure how um, detailed it has to be, like how long it's supposed to be. I've just been yeah. collecting the... I mean, to me, it's it, again, it's like a roses and thorns thing. It's, it's what... Was what worked? What was yep. successful? Mm -hmm. What are you going to replicate? How we spent the money? Yep. How we spent the money, and then what didn't work, and you know, or what? What was, we see for know. the future, and we yeah. can also mention that we, you know, we've been, you know, giving tours to representatives from other communities and that oh. sort of thing. So. Okay, and then you went and toured uh, Quantum's mm -hmm. uh, anaerobic digester. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Southington. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it, Christine? Um, I can if you want. It was fascinating. And it's, I mean, it, how, what, I don't know. Jump in tech facts. It yeah. Was, um, the, their operation is amazing. How it's, it's just almost a zero waste facility. So they, they, how they sell power back to the town of Southington, to the police station, to the town hall. There's no emissions. I mean, only when you walk into this one little thing does it smell. Um, yeah, it was and it wasn't super that bad. clean. Really clean and yeah. just well organized. And I was really impressed with how they put it together and how he talked about they got the financing and it's more of a grassroots operation versus a corporation coming in and do it, which is why the other anaerobic digesters have sort of failed in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's also like a green, a success of the Green Bank, too. Yeah. Oh, they help finance it. Mm -hmm. They help some of it, yeah. And it's the only um, anaerobic digester, did he say the whole East Coast? I think there are only like 30, 20 yeah. something or 30 of them in the, in the whole country. country. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So they take food waste. You have to pay to tip your food waste there, right. mm -hmm. um, but probably less than you're, <coughs> you're paying to tip it, something like Wheel Grader. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, an it's less than MSW. Okay, so it's an advantage to tip your food waste there. Then they uh, uh, put the uh, food waste through their process, they generate. Uh, the compost, mm -hmm. but then they also generate methane, and, and, and then they, they so they have okay, so they have like a generator on site yes. that produces power. With yes, that and then they sell gas. that back to the grid. So they make yeah. money from their tipping fees, what they sell back to the town, and their compost that they sell. Yeah. Okay. So it was a, it was a fantastic operation. Cool. And and are they? How much material are they collecting, and do oh. they need more? <laughs> you know, like how much can they tolerate? Yeah, they take. What's their capacity? They get a lot. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, but I mean, other it's like grocery stores or restaurants or. If you want you know. to take a quick look at that? That has like all the main statistics on it. Forty thousand tons per year of uh, food waste diverted. 
municipalities, hotels, colleges and universities, food processors and transporters, grocery stores, restaurants, hospitals, sports arenas, mm -hmm. commercial buildings, large offices and residential complexes. And I asked him how, like I said, you, you probably have no idea how Darien's, you know, food, you know. Yeah, is it clean? Is it, and he uh, actually does have an idea, and he said that we do a good job. So, <laughs> yeah, he said that we do a really good job. Um, yeah, and I asked, I, I, at the, the event in Greenwich the other night, I ran into um, Nick from Curbside Compost, and I asked him specifically, like, w well, why do you take our stuff to um, Quantum? Because it's further away than um, New Milford Farms. And it's just, it, it's what I suspected, which is just the route that they have that particular day. So okay, yeah. we always have to, like, you know, we also have to anticipate that our stuff could go to any three of these um, commercial composting facilities. It really just depends on the route. Like he the mentioned, ease of the people. Yeah, they, they come sure. down from Wilton and then they come here and then they actually go to um, East Haven and then they go up. So it's just it's Basically just the driving route. by. Mm -hmm. But I would say yeah. from a <clears throat> compost of I mean uh, from a point of the sustainability that we would want to encourage him to go to Quantum because the New Milford Farms is. It produces methane that just goes into the environment. It's actually uh, because yeah. of the compost process. Because of the compost you are process. Off -gassing. Yes, you're off gassing. Yeah, it's interesting so. because in, at New Milford Farms they do the windrow um, mm -hmm. composting, and so they mix the um, brown and green matter together before it composts. They do exactly the opposite um, at Quantum. The the pellets come out from the food waste, and then they mix in the yeah. green and brown. They mix in the green material yeah. with it after that to make the compost so it's the reverse it was very interesting did you say there are 30 of these across the country quantum around 30 not, not quantum, quantum. No, not quantum. That's a just the other operation. Operation. and this is the one of the most state of the art so this is only one of theirs he yeah. only has one, only has one. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. for the time being um and he actually sent me a couple of videos that i can put on our Facebook did he know about the, the approval in Bridgeport that we had long heard about? Yep. He did, yeah. Yeah, he knows all about it. Um, that it's was, not him. It's not that. Yeah, it was an issue with um, the site itself with um, brown fields. Oh. And then there's, there. I think he mentioned there's been a total of three or four that have been permitted by DEEP, and financing is the issue for no, some of the they, others, they like turning They probably have to prove that they're going to have enough stuff to be able to run the model. They're very expensive to build and to maintain, so um, yeah, they have to have their financing in order. You know, the financiers have to know that they're going to be able to run it Succeed. long term. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's certainly a lot of food waste around, it's just a matter of collecting it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you for those updates. Now, um, on what's in, what's out, the, the, the what's remaining on uh, my recollection there is getting the back page yep. done. Uh huh. And I did a draft of it um, that I can. Okay. I'll have you, everyone take a look at it. Um, so this is to go to Sophie and have her do her thing with it, but this is just to get the accuracy of information. Yes. And what I really struggled with here was, as you recall, on the back of our original one. We had we listed items not included in single stream, and yes. we actually listed the very items that weren't included because there were so few of them at the time. Yeah, now it's more. Now it's a lot more, and um, so you well, I mean, I think you you have the right idea, which is point them to the what's in, what's out list, yes, and and talk about what's different. Yes. Um, so I think that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. So, for example, I didn't think it was worth mentioning mirrors and Pyrex and razors and not mentioning yeah. the, you know, yeah, eighty other things. Yeah, I think Yeah, yeah, and do the big ones. You know, right. No. I mean, should you say plastic bags or plastic bags and films? You know, and flexible um, films or oh, yeah. flexible yeah, plastic, sure. yeah. uh -huh. including flexible plastic, including bags, films, yeah. and wrappings or something, you know? Yep, mm -hmm, I can do that. The other thing that I was thinking is I frequently look at the websites for other towns just to see what they're doing. Mm. Um, and Greenwich, I just they, they have a full-time person who works on this, so theirs typically tends to be really good. And so what they did, in addition to, um, they took what we had talked about this before, of possibly doing it, and we decided not to do it, but they did do it. They took the what's in, what's out list, and they 
they they personalized it to Greenwich. Mm -hmm. But then in addition on their what because the what's in what's out list is just very broad strokes. They also have something on their website that looks like this and then they, oh, they yeah. refer people from the what's and what's out to that. If you that, really want to go which, to the reference, you can. Yes, which really gets into the nitty gritty of what you can put in, what you can't put in. Do you think in. this uh, is consistent with ours? Well, I think that we should consider putting this on our town website because I think that people are going to look at what's in, what's out, and... And then have questions. There's a lot yeah. of questions. The so, like see, the plastic egg carton, that's a yes. great question. Well, that's it. Well, you know, see, like, you know. my, my concern is that when, when we have the portion of the community that wants to actively participate in recycling, their confusion level right now is at an all-time high. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for example... That's why the what's in, what's out is good for but them. But let's focus on, on the big one. Yeah. What exactly is the definition of a plastic bag? Any, any, any plastic, plastic bag. film any, bag. Any plastic, any plastic bag. 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 What, your because, what your frozen broccoli comes in. Yeah. What you, well, what, what I'm reading both in the proposals in Stanford, in Norwalk, in New oh, York State, and here, you're, a nine mil bag, a three mil bag. Hold on, stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. stop. Yeah. Stop. But stop. I'm getting these stop. questions stop. and stop. I don't have an answer. Stop. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but the first thing that you're doing is mixing two different things. Yeah. You're talking about a bag ban. We're talking about not putting any plastic bags in single stream recycling. Right. And my question the two is, are not related. My, but my question is, any plastic Correct. bag, one mil, nine Correct. mil, Correct. Any, any, plastic any, bag. any plastic bag, anything that does this. Yeah. All right, not so rigid. my suggestion is that reword this before it goes to Sophie, and put the word any mm -hmm. in block capital letters in front of plastic bags. Okay, we can do that. Because I've, I've got, I've got. Uh, this is what I've written. Uh, no longer accepted are flexible plastics, including any bags, films, or wraps. Yeah, see, this is where it gets confusing because um, a plastic bag is technically plastic film. So the, the correct term is really plastic film, parentheses, plastic bags, dry cleaning bags, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But because there are so many plastic bags in circulation, people tend to say plastic bags and film, but it, a plastic bag really is plastic film. Sorry, didn't mean to confuse No, 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 I mean, yeah, you're right. We should say plastic films, yeah. but no one will be like, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, I think right. Have to, yeah. you, the wording has to relate to the reader, and the reader Correct. is, is mm -hmm. the technical terms yeah. are, are less relevant to your point. It is any plastic bag. And it is, um, and then separate from that, because it is, you can distinguish plastic films if you mean like in parens, saran wrap, plastic wrap. So you're talking plastic bags, plastic wrap. Yeah, I, um, I think the word, the, is, the phrase plastic film does nothing but mm -hmm. make people stop reading. Right. So what do people <laughs> use that they're throwing away? They're throwing away plastic bags, they're throwing away plastic wrap, mm -hmm. they're plastic wrappings. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so I mean, I, are, I so can I go back to, to say way. this? Flexible plastics, yes. including any bags, films, or wraps. But this this is plastic, but it's confusing for my own family. family. That's flexible. Well, then, what's your definition of flexible? I would call that rigid. That does not go in. Yeah, that's, not good. Yeah, that's yeah. but it's not considered <laughs> it's, film. I mean, the other like well, stretchable, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, but film is film is what it really all these things are. Correct. Right? Yeah. Like different thicknesses of film. Sometimes correct. used as a bag. Sometimes used to to hold toilet paper rolls mm -hmm. together. Sometimes. Uh, so, if it's not flexible, is it malleable? Maybe maybe I, plastic I, film I is think, the word. Maybe. I think you're trying. I think, and if, yeah, I don't know if we can. If deep gets in the way here, but right now to nobody me, gets in the way. This is our document. perfect is the enemy of the good right now. That's I, right. I think yeah. that I think that if if you look at the average person who would just like to recycle, no plastic bag of any sort, no plastic soft plastic wrapping of any sort. Mm -hmm. Talk to them in their language, not in deep That's language. Fine. Soft plastic makes more sense than film plastic yeah. too. The, the word film, you know, everybody mm -hmm. under the age of 25 doesn't even know what film is. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> but I think Blasi photograph. Right. So <laughs> let's 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 move it's back to the, let's move I mean, back to big picture. So the the front of our uh, it's not this one, but the front of our flyer now looks something like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, the back again is going to look something like this with those words with these words mm -hmm. and in addition we're going to include somewhere on the DPW website or available to counter the super detailed list if you really want to which we find. will update periodically yes. because things change and so we'll have a note and I think we put that note at the bottom of the front page but we should probably have a note on kind of all these pages you know will be updated from time to time okay you know like mm -hmm. to just let people know that this is not something that's fixed subject to, to yeah. Changing Change. market conditions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I like where you're headed, I guess, is what I'll okay. say. And maybe I'm not the right uh, uh, wordsmither. <laughs> um, one of the things, um, Terry just mentioned, uh, Terry just said something that made me think of something that I had wanted to send an email to you and Ed on, which is that New Canaan at the library, the Planet New Canaan, had sponsored uh, Recycling 101. Um, uh, lecture um, and do you know the lamb room downstairs at the New Canaan Library where no. they do uh, well it holds how many like a couple hundred people maybe it was packed and it was literally standing room only they had a recycling 101 on the panel they had um, Jennifer Heaton Jones from um, you know HRRA they had two representatives from um, City Carding and then they had their director of public works and so each one went through and, um, you know, they talked about their respective areas. There were a gazillion questions. People were so interested. People do want to do the right thing, as Terry says. And, um, and I think it was really helpful to everyone. And I'm thinking that we should do something like that because, first of all, I think we can probably get credit on yes. our, yeah. you know, for our, our application. And instead of, you know, instead of we have, you know, Ed or Darren from our DPW, and then I believe that one of, we, we, we could have the, um, one of the same main people from City Carding, but in addition, one of the City Carding people was there because he's a New Canaan resident. I believe Andy from City Carding, who works at the facility, lives in Darien. I'm sure we could probably get him to sit on it. And then, you know, one of us, and instead of Jennifer Heaton-Jones, because she's very, um, what's in what's out yeah, by the state? Right, right, right. And Victoria. we need to, you know, so it could be like you or me or a combination a of us. A couple of us, yeah. Yeah, and I, I really, really think that we so should do this. You have so much on your plate. Who wants to maybe reach out to Sally at the library and find well, I out? Well, I have a thing to go find out about anyway. So I can okay. see if we can get the community room? Well, no, I think I was, um, I, I always think delegation, right? So the, the library is always programming stuff. Yes. And so by talking to Sally, we could determine whether or not the library is interested in kind of co-programming with, with us, you know, like, you know, they could help with the, Which is what Planet New Canaan did. Yeah, yeah, they, they, mm -hmm. they have their 6,000, you know, email list and they have, you know, like, <laughs> it's not just yes. us getting a room and trying to advertise it. It would kind of be a library public information event that we could help populate and provide the content for. Sure. And so in addition to going through each of their areas, they then, like, literally had, um, um, you know, samples of things and they would hold them up and have people guess, you know, where it went and um, it was just really, really informative and I think it would be really good for our residents to be able to, um, you know, to yeah. be able to have the opportunity uh, I'm, to I'm ask all, questions. Um, I would be happy to do that and I, do the little presentation for it. I think that the, the key with that, and I know it was well attended, was it was extremely well marketed mm -hmm. and it was marketed through Planet New Canaan. It was marketed through I believe the New Canaan Library. It was I'm that's where about I saw the different it. places mm -hmm. that I saw it. It was marketed through sustainable Fairfield County because again through that organization where people have their lists, the people that go to that monthly meeting say here's what's going on in our community. So mm -hmm. it they got a they, people are very interested but the key to that was it, it yeah. took time to plan it, and it was very well prepared for. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of later on, we'll get back. We, I wanted to mention the the the, the climate, the yeah, coastal we'll climate that. resilience. But again, that was ex extremely well attended by not only by people outside of Darien, mm -hmm. because it was extremely well publicized. So I just 
yeah. I keep coming back to sometimes. But to Craig's things. point, if we co-partner with exactly. the library, well, that's I'm just yeah. that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. If the, the right mix gets the word out there, that gets people to come. And we, you know, we could get, you know. Um, um, the Land Trust and, yeah. you know, Pollinator Pathway, like these other organizations to, yeah. you know, promote it through 100%. their groups. So let's see, you know, start the process. And Christine, yeah. thank you for uh, sure. volunteering. Um, so back on what's in, when I like, like where you're headed, uh, when we head back to uh, the recycling center to promote food scraps, um, we got a recommendation if, if we should concurrently um, have some folks answering questions at the recycling center about recycling, right? Like stand mm -hmm. there on a, on a Saturday uh, by the single stream, you know, with a board that says, ask me questions, you know? Um, That's a great <laughs> idea. And, and uh, we can keep each other company across the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people still, there's still, um, you know, a lot of confusion, I think, about um, whether, you know, where something goes. Um, I sometimes, stop people from doing things but <laughs> sure. you know, don't put that there uh, well, so, but importantly we need, we need this flyer right because we can stand there with a stack of 200 flyers and say ask me questions here's right. the list you know right. and yeah. I also need Dave's out. debut vest if we're going to do that yes. so we look Understood. a little more official and they listen to you because I've had yes. people at the recycling center get away from me crazy lady yeah. 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 yeah completely ignore me I, and in re related to that, obviously handing out a lot of paper it kind of goes against yeah. some right. of what we want to do. Yeah. But I, I've often thought, wouldn't it be great if there was even a whiteboard and you know, and it was written on and it was stuck over by recycling and someone would have to put it inside at night or whatever and whatever the message of the week is or the month, you know. Mm -hmm. Remember no plastics in here mm -hmm. or styrofoam not allowed or whatever. And very simple and inexpensive. It could just be a, a, a like message that, that would get some, yeah. you know, it could be on cardboard and you could tie it to the recycling yeah. rail. Might even, but, might even you know, take a piece of cardboard <laughs> out and, and write on it. I mean, just something where you're getting fast messages that don't cost us a lot I'll of money. I'll look at the swap shop. And it comes in. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would yeah. be great. Just, that's a good idea. Not a lot of money. Volunteers to figure out if it comes in. That's, something, that's you know, reminder, no styrofoam, the styrofoam is no but, longer but, recycling. Right. And so, it sits out there for two or three sure. weeks and then it, it falls apart and it's that's gone. A really good idea. Mm -hmm. But even like mm -hmm. long, t long time items, like I stopped someone from putting a dehumidifier in the e-waste the other day because of course you have to pay a free on recovery fee for refrigerators, freezers, dehumidifiers and air conditioners and you know, so oh, you yeah. put it back in our they were trying Does to get, dehumidifier yeah. have free on it? Yeah. Does it's on our list? I have no idea. I know I just saw that. I so think. if if we are going to pursue this um, whiteboard or cardboard right. presentation, I, I it's been my experience that people re respond better to something that's posed as a question than as a statement. Mm -hmm. So rather than did you know styrofoam is not included in single stream? Anymore? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> <laughs> even week, even then... even 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 more broadly, have them guess like. Where does this go? With a with a picture of whatever it is. I mean, that's much more effective in terms of getting people Someone to engage. Has to be the answer, though. Well, that's the point. Is <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. So there's so lots to do. Let's, yeah, there's lots to do. That's it. So um, item two C. Uh, uh, swap shop. Swap shop. Swap shop's been very slow during the week, and that's due to the uh, Boy Scout sale. Yeah. I guess people are uh, you know, just we haven't uh, started drop offs yet. Garages or whatever, and uh, getting on over to the uh, on over to the uh, sale. But uh, Saturdays are still you know very busy, especially between 12 and 2. Uh, it's just crazy. So if Ed was here, I want to ask him to put up the uh, signs that he originally had, the uh, 20 minute signs. Mm -hmm. Because I really would like to invoke uh, the 20 minute rule. Uh, yeah, I think what would be helpful on. is if you could like write exactly the words that you want on that sign and the size you want the sign to be. Well, I was thinking of uh, the, the parking signs that we had originally. Yeah. When we went up there, there was. Oh, like was 20 minute parking or 20 something? 20 minute parking on each of the. Uh, yeah. Or because you think people are three. violating yeah. it or? Uh, we don't invoke it until it really gets busy. Yeah. And okay. then it becomes a problem because they don't see the signs and they say, what do you mean 20 minutes? And then we try to figure out if somebody's been there an hour 
why would they? Minutes, why, you, why is that an issue? You pick the wrong person, they start saying, "Well, Johnny Jones." Is you, you get longer. Yeah, so the the, the the the, the long term, um, the the most uh, uh, frequent complaint that we get about the swap shop is that uh, the the eager collectors will stay for. A uh, long time. I just like in. waiting for Here the is. next Goodbye. cool thing to come in uh, to take out, right? With, without getting too personal, okay. there, right. there, there, there are about eight people that everybody in town knows. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> we don't okay. have to go. I don't want to go any okay. farther. <laughs> and I'm using very diplomatic language. Yeah. Right? I just wondered so, why parking so that's, was an issue. That's, that's why. That was that's my why. And that, I didn't know the answer to that. And Thank although you. the the purpose of the swap shop is to divert waste. Correct. So we don't care who takes it right. or how much they take. Correct. But the users that are dropping are... Need room. D no, they just don't... A, they need room. They need a parking space to go drop and to do their own, see what's going on. But um, we've gotten several complaints that people uh, that find someone immediately taking something or the same person they saw taking something is taking something else they feel like uh, somehow that goes against what the 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 higher mission of the swap shop mm -hmm. is to share right. usable yeah, things, right. right? So even though okay. the purpose is to divert waste, when people don't feel like things are being kind of fairly shared, yeah. they okay. they get upset. And people have complained well, also that um, they don't like it when someone literally takes something out of their car right. and, and puts it, it into their, their car. car. Never even went into the swap people, shop. Yeah, yeah people <laughs> have complained the, the new issue though right. is if we start to clamp down on people not staying there, then we have a full house every every day. It's a fine and line. What do we what do we do with all of it? Right. So I'd rather have the first premise that we want to get rid of everything. Yeah. yeah. And once it starts to get busy like at twelve o'clock or or you know, there's a lot of cars coming in, then I'll invoke the uh, 20, twenty minute minutes. rule. I can say yeah. at twelve o'clock on on uh, Saturday. And by the way everyone, twenty minutes and you're out. So anyway, my, my advice to you is is to make Ed's job as easy as possible. You don't want him guessing at which sign you want and what it says and where you well, want well, it. We'll put it. Just put it put it together. Say you know we think we need five signs yeah. and we think they say this and we think they're about you know nine by twelve or whatever they are and you hand them to him and then he can the send that to his sign. Yeah. You know. It's a safety um, issue at that point because the people, my impression as it Then they start person, parking where they shouldn't park and then they're the, walking across yeah, things. And, backing uh, into yeah. people. Right. Yeah. It's and a, the it's other issue we have on, the other issue, the big problem. issue we have on Saturday is that a lot of people don't want to go up to the top and they start throwing junk. Yeah. I mean, stuff that's okay. just awful. We don't always catch it. So at the end of, end of the day, I mean, the poor you know, workers are just, and we are piling stuff out of there. So we really have to get better at, you know, trying well, to... We, didn't we talk at one time about maybe limiting, um, like, like even furniture closing it. and so forth? Well, 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 yeah, we talked about limiting furniture, but we talked about if it got too busy, we'd close it. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just, if, if we can't, we can't, if we can't process, process Saturday afternoons, then it's not open Saturday exactly. afternoons. You yeah. know, like, I think we'll you know. have to start doing that if, that, if that's the case. Yeah. But I'll invoke the 20-minute uh, rule, see if that works. And if that doesn't, then we just close it. Yeah, which is unfortunate, right? But yeah. you know, it, it, it's run by volunteers, and we can't. But you know, key, if you can't the, staff the it, you can't a, you run know, it. The more that gets out of there, the better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But you can't have people backing into people. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, I put final postcard on here only because I was I was I forgot to stop down and, and try to see what the final postcard says. Didn't maybe. you say you fit it all on? He was going to fit the two sentences we wanted on the front okay. on food scraps and on revised. Um, single stream, so I just didn't grab a copy before I walked in here. Uh, energy stuff. So uh, um, we got some really great information. So Carolyn and I are going to be um, preparing a press release for our first three solar rooftops, uh, one of which is on the rooftop of Town Hall here. Um, and we're working with Tim Sadler at NCON to get some good information and uh, I found out through this email exchange that um, uh, the three school buildings are going to be done this summer and Tokenix install is actually starting on Monday. Oh wow. Good. So it's not three, it's six by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, but Tokenix and? Tokenix, 
Got it in here, hold on, I'm reading his email. He put it in his email, I know he did. Tokenique, Holmes, and the Board of Ed uh, Administrative Building. Oh, and they're, they're all going to be done in what time frame? He said by the end of the summer. Um, and Tokenique and Holmes are pretty big systems, 149 KW at Tokenique, 134 KW at uh, Holmes. Um, so actually larger than small, they're mediums. Um, so, but the rate's the same. We're paying 6.2 uh, 6 cents um, per kilowatt hour for energy generated, um, which is at least a third less than what we pay for our generation rate through the co-op, although I have an email into Kate to ask her what we're paying the co-op right now for energy generated. Um, and uh, over the life cycle of 20 years, these six rooftops should save the town of Darien over a million dollars. Over what period? 20. <clears throat> They assume, a, they assume a historic escalator on the cost of generating power because the what we pay is fixed rate, 6.2 cents for 20 years. Um, doesn't change. That's so, what we pay? That's what we pay. Uh, and so if you assume an escalator on um, the uh, what we buy, for, you know, buying power from Eversource or, or co-op, wherever we're buying it from, you get to over a million dollars worth of savings. Um, so anyway, Carolyn and I are going to do a uh, press release on that. We already have people that are interested. So, so I'm just to make sure I have the minutes right here. So, so all three projects are now complete. So the, the, the police station, the DPW garage, and the uh, town hall are complete. The uh, Green Bank has green-lighted uh, the police station and DPW. Uh, but they're not letting us turn on any of the systems until town hall is green lighted, and that's supposed to come any day now. It's a matter of paper, not physical work. Um, but as soon as they get the green light on town hall, they will activate all three systems, which should happen, quote, any day now, end quote. Uh, we got some great drone shots from Jordan Lewis. I forwarded those around if you looked at those. Jim Cameron talked about um, throwing some of those videos up on Channel 79 once we have some data to go with them. Go with them. <laughs> um, uh, and um, and uh, Jamie does want to do some kind of ribbon cutting. Ribbon cutting. Mm -hmm. So once we have our PR statement, I think we go to her with it first and ask how she wants to manage that. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to skip 3B. And now on to sustainable CT. Uh, Kathy, we met with the department heads a couple of weeks ago. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And we went over in detail lots of things. Yes, we did. But um, May is like three weeks away. Yes. Um, so, you know, I think we can say that we're not getting a reasonably complete application in by then. Well, and here's where I, I guess I, I have my notes and things. Let's start with that. Um, I had a long conversation with one of the associates at Sustainable CT who encouraged absolutely submitting anything. anything as complete or incomplete. And there were two reasons for that. The first is that... Um, it lets them know kind of where towns are at. Mm -hmm. um, number two, it lets them see if there's sort of problems with anything that's being, you know, with the program, if it's mm -hmm. they see things consistently. It provides them with a training vehicle for their, basically, their, intern, um, yeah, their, their staff and their, interns. The readers that are going to actually, the certifiers, mm -hmm. to, to see it and learn how to do it. Um, and it wasn't really meant to be a report card. So, um, there are several weeks. I, I meant to bring my computer and left it on my kitchen counter on the way out to, so that I could double check how many had actually agreed were now listed as people that could update. I don't know. You all should have gotten an mm -hmm. inv invite to do it, but you can upload things if you 
went through that process and were invited. So anything that any individual is working on towards their action steps could begin to upload. So I'm, I'm looking for people with any information um, to be able to do that. I'm happy to sit with anyone individually to do that at any given time. And whether it's the ones that Beth and Ken have or what, what you did with the, the first one. So any of them, I, I was trying to figure out how to play around with the um, even the event that was at the library last week, because that gets to point two, I really tried to push them on what is a partner. And the, the real discussion was, if you have some connection as the town with the organization and can justifiably we say could, you're doing something, okay. so. The Darien Library is a town building. It's a town building, four million correct. Dollars a year. And we give money. Um, the Darien like Nature <laughs> Center <laughs> is on town land yeah. and they're rent free. Yeah. Um, well, they rent a dollar, a dollar, a dollar a year. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, they rent for a price. So there are ways uh, that the town can take some of those events. So I was trying to figure out how to define one of those, and if it didn't fit into one through nine, to make it a ten. Okay. You know, to put in because we can put in a lot of tens, and they could say they're not ten; they belong in seven, or it doesn't. Oh, count. Right, right, right. Look, we yeah. did this. We did this. We did this. Yeah. You tell us where it goes. Basically, <laughs> yeah. I, I tell us. Yeah. So, like, really if you could know. justify that that the event um, at the library, and I found that to be extremely fascinating and something we there's a we need to take a next step in Darien with, but. Um, so, so those partnership things, I think, are worth putting up. So, one one thing I wanted to mention was, and I want to mention to Beth too. I'll send her an email, but I, I sent her an email. Is for any of us that have a task item, um, don't be afraid of the website. It is super intuitive and super easy to use. And once you start, like, well, I'll just upload this document. And I'll type this information, and um, so. I, I, I want to encourage everybody to be authors and collaborators on your piece and getting stuff up there. Um, and the second thing that relates to that, I want to encourage anybody to pick up the phone and call Sustainable CT and say, you know, I was filling out 7.2 and I'm not sure what you mean by this and this is what I have or does this count oh, okay. or should I? And just, so we can and just, just ask them. them you know, like Beth, Beth had this okay, question, yeah. well, if you look at the Energy Star Portfolio Manager, like five of our buildings or seven of our buildings throughout town technically rate higher than a 75 and would therefore be eligible to get an Energy Star rating. But then she read something else. Right now the program's on pause and they're not doing Energy Star ratings for you know institutional buildings or something like that, right? And so it was like, well, we can only get points if they're Energy Star rated, but I'm being told I can't get it. So I, you know, the, the answer to her was, you know, call. <laughs> yeah. And ask sustainable CT. This is what I'm running into. And or fill out the application with the documentation. And, and just say what, and just or yeah. just and or just put right in there. You know, I went to the Energy Star portfolio page. Here's a screenshot of what I saw. You know, it's Tokenic School was an 82, so technically it rates. But and here's the screenshot that said I can't get it. So like, you know, here's right. we think so we can get five points I, for this. I think know? there is there is wiggle room, and and that would be to the extent that anything that anyone has worked on is put in there for discussion purposes with the organization. They are busy, and it took a couple of days to get a call back, and there is an email as well. There's two or three of them that respond. So um, okay, use, use, I mean, I'm happy to be an intermediary, but I'm not really a good translator if there's something specific. I do know it, relative to- It also to bottlenecks our ability to actually get things done, get right? Things done. Like if it's all has yeah. to go through you right. and then back up to the web page. Relative to, they gave me the name of an Eversource contact that's the sustainable CT person. So if there's things related to, to Eversource- energy, we can, oh. I have that you get name, the name, which is on my computer, is which Italia? is not here. I would like that name. I would that like that name. Is it Natalia? I have no idea. I just it was forwarded to me that, that there was yeah. a sustainable a person a, a person familiar with sustainable CT. So if it's electricity related, send that know, email things, after the meeting if you can. I will send it. I intended yes. to be able to provide it to you today. Yeah. Um, so that's the Eversource contract. Submit anything. Municipal partners. Um, and the other thing is that there will be interns over the summer. They're hiring their fellows now. They'll be assigned to a certain part of the state. Um, they're not hired yet, so the level of uh, their commitment service is not clear, and the Sustainable CT will be accepting requests for interns or fellows 
shortly, but they haven't done it yet because they don't have their fellows in place. That's can we ongoing request now. one? Do we, we, we can. It will be a part time and it'll be shared with other communities yeah. in the area. And but there isn't a formal way to say. She kind of said, "I'm assuming everybody's going to want some." So, yeah. it, but there was nothing. There was no way yet to say we would like to request assistance in filling out these applications this summer, and that should happen shortly. So that was another thing we spoke about. Um, and an event that's happening, I intend to go, you're going to be in Hartford, at the same time, reducing our plastic footprint experience from the EU with, with DEEP, and it looks like a really interesting thing, and, and again, I don't know, it, it may get us points for participating or attending, I'm not sure, oh, but okay. it would be useful to bring back here for some of the other stuff, the what's in, what's out, and yeah. stuff. So it's right after the tour of the right. capital, okay. same day, same place. <laughs> So, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. What that was it? on the website. It's 425 in the afternoon. And it's got some people from global people that are presenting. It's only like an hour long, An hour right? long. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, coastal resiliency? or did The coastal resiliency that I did want to... I, was anybody... You were there. No. The, we, at the library. The coastal resiliency. Sea level rise? Sea level rise. No. At our library? Yeah. Um, no. Were you there? No, you were not Last there. Last Thursday. Last Thursday no. evening? No, mm -mm. I was not there. You were not there. Okay. That was something else then. So the program was um, well attended, but not by Darien people, in my opinion. They were, Greenwich brought their entire plan of conserv oh, yeah. conservation yeah. group. Um, there were people from Fairfield, Westport. Um, the, talks, the, the talks were from people from Nature Conservancy from a lobbying point of view with people that work with housing, uh, people that are doing all the, the physics and geology stuff and it is it was filmed on Channel 79 so again it that event is something that will be we should be able to yeah. as, as a sustainable Darian library event. sponsored published on Channel 79. Yeah. Yeah. And I would encourage everybody to watch it. It was about an hour and a half. It was fascinating. Okay. Um, it came down to the fact that the Nature Conservancy will do these resiliency meetings, and it became very clear that we could, we definitely should and could do that. And I yeah. know there was an interest that came through our meeting with the, with the people in town yeah. to do some watershed work or resiliency planning, and maybe that would be a way in. But I would like us to schedule out to try and get a commitment from the community to host a resiliency planning day. They come in, they talk about everything from water gardens so that you mm. put gardens in that mm. the water doesn't go into the sewer it's going into the ground to long-term planning about what happens between now and 2050 and what a quarter of an inch of water means um, it certainly affects all the work at pear tree point i would think or like a we, foot of water were there any of the pear tree point building committee members i there? have i doubt it <laughs> i doubt it so i um anyways it was it, i would like to figure out a way to host that some uh, host a nature conservancy related half day resiliency planning thing for the town of Darien and I even asked that as a question at the end what would the town get and he was kind of like like yeah uh, like it's a really good idea to buy, get your community to talk about these things yeah. kind of thing um, was the answer so that's a, a longer term to do but it would fit into sustainable CT. And if you can watch the event, they handed out their report cards and there was a lot of information. Um, and I don't know how to you know, get that back to some of Jamie's staff as something that they can watch on their own. Um, well, I mean, you can just take the um, calendar invite we had and respond to all and say, I thought this was fascinating, community planning, resilient, but you know, here's the link to the Vimeo, because all Channel 79's Live streams are put um, on demand on Channel 79's Vimeo channel, so you can literally send them the link to the video in an email. Okay, I, I did not know that. Yeah, I'll send, I did I'll send see. it to you. I'm, yeah. I'm still learning. Um, everybody's learning. Not everybody knows anything else. Like that's that's the amazing part about this whole process is that you know you want like 20,000 people in town to all know the same thing about the town, <laughs> but you know it's all it's all siloed and it's and you know you. you only have a certain amount of bandwidth as any one individual. And ironically, a lot of the recommendation is at the very first, if you want to be planning, you make sure you have the proper insurance. And then there is what your town can do, and then there's what your community can do, and it kind of built on yeah, you know, ways I mean, that yeah. you can think about. So we do, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that we do a lot of the basic stuff, mm -hmm. right? But it'd be, it'd be interesting, yeah. 
Um, and there is a resource that at no charge to the town will come here and, and have go a, through that checklist. Go through that kind of checklist for your community by looking at because they have all the maps that you put up your town and you you know it will it will show you with this much sea level rise or this much and you can watch every Where piece of property. Yeah, yeah. I've actually done that. Modeling. So I have the topo. Uh -oh. So that's a that's a We're longer not, term to do. In terms of yeah. Yeah. But I think the event itself, I'm trying to figure out how to get that event into the system mm -hmm. as an event that already took place that would qualify for sustainable yeah. CT points. But the yeah. follow-on is yeah. some of the stuff that they'd ask you to host a more, more town-wide conversation. Um, anything else from your uh, perspective right now? Any, anyone have any updates on their little pieces that we talked about working on? Well, I have to fess up. I've dropped that ball. Uh, I've been consumed with the Memorial Day Parade. Mm. Of course. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been lax. Okay. Um, I had a meeting with the Art Center head and um, found out some very interesting things. And I have some stuff to add to my 3.2. Awesome. And I've talked to uh, friends of the Silex Woods dude. What is his name? Chris. Oh, Filmer. Filmer. Oh. Filmer. Thank you. And I talked to your friend, Sophie, Sophie, and I've got some stuff to add in. Great. And I talked and to you and I have to work, have to work together. <laughs> I also talked to Layla Whitmore at, um, oh, good. at the Nature Center, and she wants, she was, wants to sit down and have an appointment. And David Genovese asked me to send him like the brochure and the links and that he would need to see what we, <coughs> The one thing we have to do is have a meeting with BOE. And yes, we are. Um, so we should talk about. And Jamie, Board, Board of Ed and Human Service Council, because that was the, the, the oh, that was the last thing at the meeting with the town. Jamie's suggestion was to get the equity thing was to get the Th their Human opinion Service on Council who. on where there might be a need and use that. So, so I have the of. wildlife management two point five. She might be. I don't know. I okay, know. let's talk. Then. Okay, I'd like to meet with her with you. Yeah, she's ready. Right. Making English sense. Okay. So um, <laughs> we'll talk offline about. Yep. Uh, you know what we want to accomplish with the BOE and what we want to talk to them about, and then schedule that meeting. Okay. Yes. Or maybe I'll just schedule it, and that'll give us a deadline. It will. It will give us a <laughs> and deadline. Then, and then and we'll, I think I need to write. We'll to, to I need to co correspond with Jamie and her staff to figure out how to get introduced to the Human Service Council. Okay. Because that I have not done. Okay. And I just want to ask. Um, I've got. I've gathered the information that my points, but I didn't realize at that point when I was raising my hand to connect to Aquarian regarding the watershed and the Gorham Pond. I didn't realize I was like also gonna get it into the system, so I had Yeah, so I, I, I did get your email, so and, and I so I saw, I saw two things. Aquarian basically didn't give you anything. You know, they kind of said, yeah, you know, watersheds are important, but they didn't actually provide any information. I, I, I didn't know yeah. what you were exactly, yeah. what the criteria you were looking so, for to satisfy those, those criteria. Well, so what, so what you can start with, I think it was, you were thinking that um, provide watershed education was something that maybe Aquarian would be interested in and you had suggested that create a watershed management plan was something that maybe the Friends of Warm Pond had done right. and so what you would do on item 2.1 and 2.2 if you go to the website just to get what you're supposed to do um, you know, you can you can you can pretty quickly find. Okay, on 2.1, it that. says what to do. Right. I, and then you, you, you this I, is I, how I you get the points. Some of that. Yeah. And so that's what would need to be done. And so what I saw back from Aquarian didn't do anything for us initially. Right. Didn't wasn't the what to do. Um, and then similarly, the the Did plan the, the plan that the Friends of Gorms right. Pond forwarded was from like 1980 something. But it still was in that. Uh, the yeah, frame. yeah. So well, no, the action must have been completed within 10 years prior to application submission. So the one, at least I thought that was attached that I that I had seen from Friends of Gorms Pond was older than that. No. Oh, well, it wasn't. I guess I got to go back and look at. No, it. No, you've got several things. First of all, that the the dam itself mm -hmm. by by the town has been. Was was redone about yeah, three but, or but four so, years ago, and yeah. then the fish ladders were last year, and the dredging. Okay, Th those are great things. Yeah. But when you read the what to do, this this is a good lesson. This is what it says: conduct a natural resources inventory for a watershed. Uh, uh, a watershed is blah 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 blah. You know, uh, and so uh, map and identify critical critical watershed resources, including aquifers, riparian corridors, wetlands, vernal pools, and headwaters. 
map land uses in possible locations where pollutant loads may enter a watershed. So it's not like, hey, we did a fish ladder. It's do this. But I think, <laughs> but, I, but I do think to, to, they, they may have that, and I think the fact but, that the group did right. some of this may get yeah. you some of those points. I, I yes. would, and you don't I have would, to do the yeah. whole town, I'm, but I'm if you just, like right now, just so you yeah. know, just like Terry's focused on, I'm, yeah. I'm gearing up for Earth Week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just did yeah. a whole PowerPoint yeah. presentation on yeah. recycling, strip the straw. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, Look, meeting with actually um, trying to coordinate with every elementary school because some people just don't want to present. So I'm meeting with a tokenique principal to actually do the presentation for them. So I'm just like a little bit like underwater. We, it, we totally understand so, no that we are intended. all volunteers. No pun <laughs> we are, yeah, we are all like volunteers. We are all volunteers. We are all volunteers. And we can only do what we can do and I just, as I'm, volunteers. I'm, I'm, no, so I appreciate you. Yeah. Like, I thought I fulfilled yeah. the actual, that I'm glad that you kind of yeah. it's but, not really what you're looking for. And yeah. Lucia also said that she had this document that she was going to make a photocopy of, but there was only one original copy. Yeah, so and I thought had, I had, well, anyway, I'll go back and look at those emails they, again. But yeah, that your, was within the time frame. To your point earlier about pick up the phone and call sustainable CT, I, I would have to believe that both the town and friends of Gorham Pond had to file that paperwork, most of that paperwork with DEEP just to get the permits. True. So you have to, again, so you, someone has to compile all the studies that were done within the last 10 years, read the what to do, go into the document and say, oh yeah, they did do a natural resources inventory. It's on page 32 through 37 of document titled this, dated this, uploaded here. And someone did do this, and you can find that in this document on page 10 through 27. But, but if I heard you know, what Kathy said correctly, yeah. if we can just access the original application and attach sure. that and forward it to sustainable so, CT without reading so, it and say, here it is. Well, well no, we they're going to say, you know, because it literally when you are feeling, so I've, I've done this on the website with a couple of task items already. And so there's a place for uploading documents. Mm -hmm. And as Kathy Kath and I talked about, you want to be careful when you upload that document to, to name the file intuitively. So now I'm going to take that PDF, I'm going to rename it. Item 5.9, XYZ watershed study for Goodwives River, uploaded. And then there's two blocks. So you're giving us information on this task item. What points do you think you want to be asking for here? Yeah, yeah. So you say, I think I should get the five points for this. Okay. And I think I should get the 15 points for that. And then there's another block that said, okay, with the documents that you just gave us, where can we find that information? They're, they're going to say go to page yeah. three to find that paragraph <clears throat> two because you have to understand that the certifiers are going they're to not going to like, oh, there's this huge 200 page, you gave us 17 200 page documents. Oh, yeah, you're done. You know, yeah. like, you know, they, they need to know <laughs> if you no. look at page seven. <laughs> could, you, could you point me to Mount Everest, please? I think I'd rather have a shorter hike. Well, <laughs> you have to prove to them you've done what they're asking you to do, right? So okay. I want to get us, we, we have to be Sherpa? very specific. We can't be like, you know, here's, here's a list of things. We did a fish ladder and we did a dredging project and we did, you know, a wetland restoration. Well, that, we that put up an osprey nest. That may but, be the write up. That may yeah. be as you write the explanation of the thing. Our yeah. community, friends of yeah, the action Pond items, you know, we did this. Yeah. And there were three steps to it. Yeah. And this is why we did it. Yeah. And the write up helps the yes. certifiers understand the context yeah. of what you're asking. I, okay. I'm not saying this to be pessimistic, but to be optimistic. It sounds to me like it's more likely that we are going to submit a highly imperfect application that's going to be rejected this year. No. And just so that we get into the game. But I, what we're, so, but, I, but I, the I disagree. Goal, I really yeah. disagree yeah. with yeah. that because there were towns that where one person sat down and did the whole thing. Yeah. And they did it by a staff person for the town that did the whole thing. Hmm. Or you get an intern in here to come in here who, who has been trained on this and looks at what you've done and cleans it up. Um, but I think what we want to get require... off of is talking about it. Right, you just right. have to get in there and it, do and it. And that's the whole, the whole idea of making different people just the chairman of their task item 1.1. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 
anyone can work this website. Anyone can go through, can, can find on the web available seven Sorry. documents and go through them and upload to them, you know, and then, so, and uh, so that's where we want to get to, um, power in numbers. Uh, anyway. Well, one thing, can we, uh, can we down the Gorham's group, group or whatever, wherever it is, and task them to do it for us? Well, again, you're, you're also looking at a all-volunteer group. No, I understand that. Basically has done yeah, their no, work. Look, we want to, we want to, um, uh, for lack of a better term, exploit any passionate volunteer or advocate, right. right? Anyone that's like, that's like my issue. Like I do that, you know, like I, I am totally into invasive species management. You know, like I've, I know I've gone to three seminars. Person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, like, and, and like, <laughs> I'll do it. You know, like, uh, so it's just. put it together, they know where all the information is. It'd be very yeah. convenient for them to just pull it together and, and give it to yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but we're, we're you know, we don't need ideas because all the ideas are here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need, uh, to prove that we've done these things. I think we have to delegate something, some of these to the people who are doing it, like Goran Pond. Yeah. Go there and sit with them and say, guess what? Why don't you help <laughs> us with it? Yeah, and so, and that's part of kind and of what Kathy and I have started. Yeah. We, you know, we started with the department heads with the town. We're gonna to go to the Board of Ed. You know, she's gonna start meeting with, with more groups about it and, and, you know, kind of get the, you know, the ask mm -hmm. out there. Um, all right, I'm moving on. Uh, anything else on sustainable CD for anyone here? Uh, item five is marketing, outreach, and education. Uh, we've talked about the solar PR, and you talked about um, the articles that you're writing for yeah. Daily Neighbors magazine, yeah, and being able, basically saying they're not exclusive, and we're going to use yeah. them everywhere, I'll let them anywhere we that. want. Okay, <laughs> and, I, and then I will I'll forward them to yeah. Darian and I. And, yeah. And, I'm not sure if I told if I emailed you guys. You did. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, uh, you found a uh, third party that's willing to take the plastic films. Is that what the email? Yeah. Right, and also that there's a bill that passed um, by the state um, to eliminate plastic single-use drawers. That's excellent. There was a that one. It hasn't it hasn't passed the legislature yet, has it? It's just so out of the committee, right? But it was filed, and it, it's the votes are 20, 26 said yes versus six saying no. So that sounds it's like committee. Yeah, committee. Or is, it, is that? I guess yeah, the committee, is, yeah. And then this is the vote tally sheet. So 22, and it was voted on this date, 318. Out of the environmental committee. So yes. So the committee said, we think this should be brought to the floor for right. a, a vote. So if it's a Senate bill, it'll then go to the Senate, and they'll, when it's called for a vote, they'll vote on it, and then it'll go to the House, or vice versa if I it's a see. House bill. Okay, and then this is what, what's been filed, all the, mm -hmm. where, it's, where it's at yep. today. Okay. That's good, though. Yep. That's very positive. And then there's an article that refers to this, and, as well as plastic bags and things like that. Right. Yeah, that just makes our job easier. <laughs> so um, that same, um, Craig, that same um, Recycling 101 um, lecture that I went to at the New Canaan Library, um, uh, the director of public works said that they have set up um, collection um, it's like it's like remember I had sent the email around about the the wrap the trex collect yes. it's it's in conjunction with that program that you sent an email about, but they have collection bins at the recycling center at the library and at um, at least one of the schools, but they're going to spread it to the other schools. But then they have town employees who then take it to the participating retailers. You know, is you know we would have to figure out because we don't have town employees managing our facility. I see. Yes. Yeah, so then you're asked any so, anything so that would come to our facility and actually get it from one of those. No, they don't come and pick it up. No, you have. And we've talked to city carding about providing because the material itself we know is recyclable. Yes. Um, it's just not good to put in single stream and then run through the sorter. Right. Um, we asked city carding. Well, can we just have a separate 
bin mm -hmm. for all of these plastic films. Mm -hmm. And they basically said, well, at this point, we're not even going to bail it. We're just going to throw it out. Yeah. Because there's so little value to it for them to be able to do that. Right. Very. Sad. So it would, we would have to, I think in New Canaan, um, the person who brings it from the library and the um, um, the school, I think it's South School, is, is like a one that someone from the Boy Scouts or something. Like it's a private person doing it as a project. And then they bring it to the recycling center and then, or excuse me, they bring it to the participating retailers and then the one, the collection boxes at the recycling center are, are hauled by town personnel to the participating retailers. Because I actually so. checked out one of the retailers, which was Walmart, on that. Walmart doesn't participate. Like I walked into oh, our Walmart, Walmart, they're the close Walmart, Walmart doesn't they participate. Any. And they're on the list. And they're on the list. I, know. I emailed them and said, Walmart in Norwalk, Connecticut is no longer participating. Did you know this? Okay, and what did they answer? They haven't responded yet. I, I, I sent it yesterday. I mean, it is. The, the reality, again, this goes back to changing market conditions. So even if mm. uh, people say, you know, we want to do that for our, our customers and we want to collect, you know, the stuff that we put out there, they could end up with a, a ton of plastic film right. that they can't get rid of, right. that they end up throwing away. But I thought that they're um, participating. Somebody gets that off, takes that off their hands. Unless well, so just like a lot of recycling programs around the country right now is if you're collecting more recycling than you can Got sell it. into okay. the secondary market, you're left with garbage. That's what it, that's what it I'm is. I'm driving around. Yeah, you know, I'm like, garbage in my car. Right <laughs> and, uh, so, now there's someone that did email me recently on this, Wendy, Wendy actually, oh, uh, Wendy, emailed me yeah. on because she went and asked someone. Uh, I think Target still does that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is worth, this is worth finding because we did, a couple of emails back and forth and I said you know I can't it's like following the plastic bag to where it ends up you know right. you can't you can't I don't I don't know anymore I can't tell you that you know it's definitely ending up in the right place but we got to a point where um, she had done did she text me uh, did she text me Susie Wendy. Wendy. Wendy Ward. She used to be on this committee a few years ago. She was critical in getting textiles and light bulbs. <laughs> I have an update for you about the textiles. When you're I'm going to have to find the conversation. It's, it's, it's relevant. My principal has it. Oh, good. 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 Um, but what she did you know? ask, it was, a, it was about, can I really get rid of this at a specific retailer? And she went and actually I went inside, I think it was Stop and Shop. Okay. She went in Stop and Shop and said, you know, do you take the plastic bags and are you recycling them? And she said that they said yes. Okay. I might be making Stop and Shop up. No, I think that was the conversation. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, they um, actually have a couple of boxes. They have a few <laughs> in where you take your cans and yeah. bottles and then they have the one that's right by the front door might be inside the front door now. It looked like they moved it. Um, but I, And I'm wondering if that's the case with Walmart. Did you confirm with them that they no longer take them? I didn't confirm with management. I went in and I asked, you know, oh, the okay. return desk. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where those yeah. bins yeah, would customer be. Customer service, yeah. I asked the manager. Might, oh, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. Okay. So, the, yeah, the list needs, their list needs to be updated. Um, Plus, we need more right. for less plastic. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm go sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, um, uh, on a related issue, um, I, I finally got through to um, use again. And they only want and will only take um, usable clothing, shoes, text, um, linens, and accessories. They do not want unusable anymore. And our sign says unusable. And I mentioned, I said, when we set up this arrangement five years ago or however many years ago, and she couldn't speak to that because she didn't work there then, but she said that they only want usable materials. So. Uh, now what do we do? Then why would you bring it there versus person to person where you can get a tax write off? Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. convenience. Convenience, really. Convenience, yeah. But. And a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people 
don't bother with that. Too. That was your question, right? That was my question. Yeah, yeah. So one of the uh, people in town about the use said that. Where do we, uh, you know, soil or ripped? What do we do with it? Do you recycle? Oh, recycle. Oh, you keep burning it. That's in stock. Yeah. So rip, rip, rip jeans are exactly. yeah. more, more valuable, right? But again, I, I, I asked her, for example, like if you have like a stained T-shirt, you know, she said, no, don't put it in. They don't want it. And so, 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 rent or so, so single no. socks or things like that that could get into usable cloth recycle. Clothing. Usable, usable clothing. Yeah. So, so why not get somebody else who will take it all? Because I know that Romorowski Brothers and these companies that, that do it, they take the whole range of stuff and it goes in well, different we should, directions. We, we, we should be we, looking. We, we, only have an annual, we only yeah. have an annual contract with Use Again, so we can switch providers at, at any time if, if you find one that does take more stuff. But the, but the difference is that we get paid per ton, and like yeah. New Canaan is using a company that does, does takes everything, but they're not getting paid. That's okay. Cost neutral is fine too. Okay. Yeah. And it, it, it the, I think that industry, when you're talking about market conditions with the plastic film versus the fabric, is starting to change from what I can understand. And I know of a program in a town in Massachusetts where they will give you Two bags a week, and they, they, they theirs is picked up. But you can, yeah. you can put anything in these fabric bags, and yeah. they will take it. And you're limited by the number of bags you're allowed. Yeah, in, in reality, we were caught yeah. um, <clears throat> flat-footed in the United States by losing our market. The market. The, the, our garbage. The people. The, the, yeah, the, right. By the Chinese saying, "We don't want your garbage anymore." Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, and so it, it, hopefully. Uh, the market will react and will create the facilities we need here in the United States the, to manage it. And in the meantime, I think some of the fabric, the, the market for fabric may be increasing, not decreasing, mm. from a few things that I've seen or heard other so places. So if you so want to do research into, into yeah, you, providers for textile recycling. Collectors. That, yeah, that, that, that makes more sense. That will take anything, yeah. yeah that, that would be fine. We'd be interested in hearing that. Uh, do you know offhand when that annual contract with Use Again? Ed would know. Okay. Or Darren. It might, it might not even be annual. It might just, they're there and yeah. we don't want them there anymore. We might be able to just sell them to go. I'm just not sure. Yeah. Okay. He negotiated rates with them, so it's really through Ed. Okay. How can we be on vacation this week? How dare he take a vacation? How dare he take a vacation? That's the guy. All right. Um, all right. Is, are we ready to adjourn? Yes. Okay, that sounded like a first, a second, and all those in favor of. Thank you, Channel 79, for all your hard work.